Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Demon. I'm back with another upload today. And today's video, I want to talk about a player in particular in Delano Banton and how he can develop with the Raptors roster and how they're developing him really well and how he can get to a rise of superstar in the NBA or becoming a good role player. So let's talk about this. I have Delano Banton stats on the screen here as I'm on my Mac today. I'm going to be breaking down and comparing some stats as um, we're going to be breaking down Delano Banton right now. So. <clears throat> For last season, for the Lionel Banton's rookie season, look at some positives here. So, for the Lionel Banton's 64 games last season, he averaged 3.2 points, 1.9 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 41% from the field, shot 25 from three, and shot a free throw at 25% on 44.3 field goal efficiency with a PER of 10.0 and a win share of 0.4. So, um, the Lionel Band stats, as you see here, it's not really the best because he played in the G League a bit. So, honestly, if you want to just break it down, honestly, for the G League stats, let's break that down here too. For the G League, I know G League stats can be absolutely crazy. So, for the G League stats here to compare for both, um, the Lionel Band averaged 24.1 points on 19 field goal attempts on 10 makes, and he shot the field goal percentage at 51% and shot the three from 39%, which is pretty good. And he'll hit free throws at the same probably rate, but he can improve on that. And the rebounding is at 6.1, and the rebounding is at 8.9, and the assist per game is at 5.9, and the turn is at 2.9 with, with a steal, and all the block per game with a foul, and yeah. So honestly, for the lineup Benton here, we know off the rip, what he has to improve here is his free throw shooting. And at 54.5%, that's way too low. Why I say that's too low? Because when you get fouled and you get hacked with the line, and then he got the, he got the earn at the free throw line. And in the NBA, the same problem here too. He shot the free throw at he shot the free throw a bit better, but he shot it close to sixty percent. That's pretty much a work in progress. So <clears throat> the lineup band, if he can fix his free throw shooting, he can get much more point production from the line. As he can drive a lot, and he's very fast. So his free throw reduction you have to improve on. The next thing the Lionel Band has to improve on is his three point shooting. I know his three point shooting is close to 30%, so it's not too bad for a first year player. And even the G League shot at over 30%, so that's not too bad either. He shot at 39% in the G League. And the NBA he shot at close to 30%, so that's not really that bad. But the Lionel Band for the NBA, he can work on that. Um, his field goal efficiency is very, is very great at 40% for each in the G League and both the NBA. So that's not really that bad. He's shooting at 50%, that's really good for a guard. Um, but for his point reduction, we all know it's low because he didn't really get him up play time, so that makes sense. As in the G League, he showed very much for production as you'll get almost 30 minutes a night as a starter, and you'll get almost 24 points per game on 50 attempts in the field goal, so that makes sense. <clears throat> what the Lionel Band has to work on is many things, honestly. For Let's look at his per 36 minutes number. So honestly, for his per 36 minutes on the court for last season, he averaged 10.6 points and had a field goal rating of 41% and shot the three ball close to 30%. That's pretty much better. But honestly, per 36 minutes, stats are better than his per game stats. So honestly, I think the lot of Ben has a lot to prove. He's not a bad shooter. It's just that he needs time on the court to develop. And he's close, and his true shooting percentage isn't that bad. It's basically his true shooting percentage is at 46%. So he's honestly almost efficient. So if the lot of Ben just put the work in the season as he did in the FIBA Cups, so let's look at that here too. America Cup that's here. I think it's pretty much efficient, but I just wanted to check for my own reference. For the Lionel Band in his totals, he averaged 15.7 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 4.2 assists. That's really good. And then he shot a three pointer at almost 3%. So that's really good. And then he got there, he made a free throw against 80%. So that's really good. And then the field goal, he made it to about 40%. So that's not even that bad. That's pretty good. That's really good, in my opinion. So. As for the Lionel Band, you see the work here, he's getting to be putting it in the NBA and putting it outside the NBA and off since what he did in the season. So honestly, the Lionel Band has done pretty much a lot. But I think for the Lionel Band, let's just see, when he's on the court, he's a plus two rating for last. When he's on and off the court, it's a negative two. So yeah, the Lionel Band is not a bad player, man. And then most of the shots taken by the Lionel Band is, is, cl is close from the basket. So it makes pretty much sense that he didn't really play a lot. And yeah, he averaged about 10 points per game. That's not even that bad. And um, yeah, so the Lionel Band, you, you guys gotta keep working on stuff. But yeah, honestly, for the Lionel Band and going into next season, if the Lionel Band can get up to about 10 points per game, you can even say, and get up to about like 3 to 4 5 assists, that's not even that bad. 
and get a rebounding margin up to like five or five rebounds. And then if he can get his minutes up to about 15 to 20 minutes, that's more production for him. So honestly, for the Lamb Band, it's not really bad. But honestly, for the Lamb Band, he has a lot of work to do. But I think the Lamb Band, if he can work on his point production, his free throw shooting, um, what else can he work on? His ability to get to the basket. Like his, his true stream percentage overall is not that bad. Just like he has to work on literally his NBA game production because in the G League he brings it, in the FIBA Cup he brings it. If he translates that energy from the G League and the, the FIBA Cup and brings it to the NBA, he would be a great role player in my opinion. But what is my thoughts on the Lamb Band and what he has to, and what he has to work on and what he can do to be a good role player in the NBA? I have this those in my thoughts because honestly, you have many players he can. Now, honestly, the Lamb Band has many players he can replace. Like for example, you can say like. He can even take the backup point guard role if Malachi Flynn plays bad or if Von Harper plays bad. There's many things he can do, but honestly, both my thoughts in the Lamb Band way to work on the player and as an individual. And your boy Demi, have a good and blessed day. I'm signing out. Peace.